stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So if you guys want to look at this problem, um, what we talked about was the first thing when we do division is divide, right? Well, the good thing about this one is we know 7 divides into 14, right? Because right. we can write this as the cube root of 14 over 7x squared y. Well, 7 goes into 14. Awesome. So we have the cube root of 2 over x squared y. Uh -oh. However, ladies and gentlemen, is that the answer? No, because if you break that back down again, it's really the cube root of 2 over the cube root of x squared y. And the problem becomes is we still are dividing by a cube root of x squared and y. So we want to eliminate that x squared and y. So the big question comes into, can you take the cube root of x squared? No. Can you take the cube root of y? No. So x to what power can you take the cube root of? To the third. Y of what power can you take the cube root of? Third. Well, it's really third, the sixth, the ninth, right? But the smallest value you want to is just the third. So what do I have to multiply x by to give it to be x cubed? Yeah, x to the first. At y, what do I need to multiply y by to make it? Y to the square. Y squared, right? So to simplify the rest of the problem, remember, you have to multiply by the cube root of x, y squared, right? Because you can't just multiply a number inside of a radical or from the outside to the inside. So I multiply by x y squared. No, it's x squared y. No, he had it right. x y squared. Oh, there I'm just multiplying. Oh. Sorry, I should probably write a little dot. <laughs> so now, when I go ahead and multiply these, make sure that they're there. Ah, I have this off on my thing. You always forget something. No, you always forget something. Because mine's always running. You got me. You have a hard time going That's to right. sleep, Mr. McFarland? <laughs> yep. So now I multiply this, and I have the cube root of 2 times x times y squared. And then over here, I have the cube root of x cubed y cubed. Well, do I know what the cube root of x cubed and y cubed is? X and Y. So my final answer is cube root of 2xy squared all over xy. That is a really beautiful x, by the way. Yeah, it was. For real. It's because you're French. <laughs>